Hey there guys, it's Sandra D. Had a couple of seconds and I thought I'd spend them with you. Now usually I'm doing these videos a little bit earlier in the day. It's kind of late and a lot of times I kind of wait for something to come to me for the topic of the video on Sunday and um, this one came to me earlier and I'm going to be honest, I procrastinated because it's a little... I don't know, it's a little more personal, I think, than some of the ones I've done before. But this is what God put on my heart, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and talk about it. You know, not only has it been Thanksgiving weekend, which hopefully was awesome for you, um, but it also was a passing of someone that I kind of grew up with. Um, if anybody had remembers the Brady Bunch, I know I grew up with reruns of it basically that I watched after school. So um, some of you may be too young to remember the Brady Bunch, but you may be familiar with it kind of. But Florence Henderson passed and she had played Mrs. Brady and we had all thought, wow, she was the perfect mom. And there was a lot of that in the 70s, I think, when you look at the sitcoms. They really did form parental units and family units as we desired them to be. What's interesting is that Florence Henderson in real life had nothing like that mother that she portrayed. In fact, they asked her once, what was your inspiration? As he had done all these other things and it's important to say that she had been on Broadway, she had hosted other television shows, she had done a lot of things, but she was best known for playing uh, Mrs. Brady. And so when they asked, what did you think of when you thought of Mrs. Brady and what did you model her after? And she literally said, I modeled her after the mother that I wish I would have had. You see, she grew up very poor, Florence Henderson did, and her mother left her when she was very young. She left the family. So she didn't have the mom that she portrayed. This perfect mom really didn't even exist even in her life. And the reality is sometimes these perfect parental units and perfect families don't exist in any of our lives. And there's blessing in that. But I am just kind of drawn to say this this week because we just got over Thanksgiving. And if you are having to do a little detox from a couple of effects of family members, then um, I get you. Uh, the reality is we all have different normals. Normal is not the Brady Bunch family. Normal is not the Huxtables back in the same, the 80s, I think, was the Huxtables, right? But these perfect families just don't exist. And actually, we learn a lot more from having imperfect families. The blessings are actually in there. Trust me, I know. I have a, a mom that won't even take my phone call or my siblings' phone calls, actually, um, and she would never call us. And that's weird. It's weird. It's, it's our normal, but it's weird. Do I wish that I had the Mrs. Brady for a mom? Sometimes, yes, but you know, now I don't because I don't own the value that I used to put on that. I used to think looking at Mrs. Brady growing up, well, my mom is nothing like that. And as a kid, you go, what's wrong with me? Isn't that funny? Most kids think, what's wrong with me that my, my family doesn't look that way? Um, and then hopefully we grow up, we do the work we need to do, and we realize that that's just a, it's just another human being. Humans are imperfect. So whether it's your mom, your dad, your grandfather, or an older brother, older sister, somebody that kind of maybe got under your skin <laughs> getting together this holiday, or even if it was a phone call, I know that sometimes I have to get off a phone call with my mom when I do get her and I have to spend a couple of minutes just kind of detoxing. Give yourself that time because God created you and you were created perfectly. You are awesome. There is so much more that is right with you than is wrong with you. And you don't need to own anything that comes from anyone else, even if it is your family. You see, you can't choose your family. God chose your family for you, and in that, as I said, there are blessings. And the blessings may be that you overcame a lot of that negative programming. I know I work with people, and they can be brilliant. They can be really successful. I'm talking like some of these people are really successful, and they're still dealing with some of that programming from somebody from their childhood. The wrong programming they're still owning it. They can be 30, 40, 50, even 60 years old before they start to realize that that human that spoke over them doesn't have the power that their creator has when you were made. When you were made, you were made perfectly to make the impact in the world that you are perfectly designed to make. You're awesome. 
So spend a little time, reflect over the great people that are in your life, and they're in your life because you're great too. Reflect over the things that you overcome, the accomplishments you've made, and just how much more is right with you than is wrong with you. And all the blessings that probably came from everything else. Let the friends that you spent your time with, uh, maybe you went for a walk in nature, whatever it is that you spent your time with this weekend that was such an incredible blessing, think of those things. And just forgive anything that came your way that wasn't stellar because you are awesome. You're starting a new week. And I just think sometimes we need to hear something just that simple. You just need to hear that you're awesome. That's it. Leave me a comment if you want. Have a great week. Bye.